very welcome. Happy Easter. Happy April Fool's Day. We're coming to you here from Easter Snow from Dickie Burns Pub on the borders of Roscommon and Leitrim. And I am Cathy Jordan and this beautiful creature here, April Fool, is Eleanor Shandley from Leitrim. Hello, Eleanor. Um, hello, Cathy. Why are we here? Well, we're here to, uh, with some of the finest musicians in Ireland and Cathy. Uh, to showcase some of the best things that Leitrim and Roscommon have to offer. We'd like to welcome everyone that's viewing from our neighbours in Europe, all the way across Europe from Germany to Italy to France, uh, the UK. So welcome in. Bienvenuti. And a special uh, Irish welcome from our hostess with the mostess here, Una. How are you doing? And Dickie behind. How's it going? Yeah. Give me the fortune old Bernier. Got a mahogany. And uh, we're looking forward to a great evening, a feast of music, sound, and dance. Well, let's get going. Here, play some music for us, lads. <laughs> strangers to this area. In fact, you could throw a stone or spit at his house from here. This is John Carty right here. How's it going, John? Very well. Now, you know more about this area than most. I do. I, I live very locally. There's a lake outside the door and I live, the, as you say, I live the other side of the lake okay. and I've been coming out with Dickies for years. Now, look up at the map here. You'll see yes, where we yes, are in the world, area. Ireland, and then you'll see okay. there's, there's Leitrim. lovely Leitrim and there's beautiful Roscommon right there. And you'll see now exactly where we are. We've got Ireland West Airport at Knock, is right the, beside us. The closest airport is just a, a hop, skip and a jump from right here. And there's Easter Snow and Dickie Burns Pub, exactly where we are. Now, there's lots of music from around these parts, isn't there, John? Absolutely. And it's an area that's steeped in uh, traditional music. Um, going back first, a lot of the early recordings made in Irish music from the 1920s. So um, we're really lucky to have these places around the northwest of Ireland are. to get to play, you know? Yeah. You like music, and I hope you like singing as well, do you? Absolutely love singing. And um, <laughs> any singers around here? I, uh, <laughs> do you know I didn't see any? <laughs> well, since we're no, no, we'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> will you okay, give us one? We'll, we'll give you one. Fair and play. to join us is uh, Shane McGowan, all the way from Sligo. He's not a Leitrim or Scammer member. We'll forgive him that. There's a Leitrim song that it is. The shores of Loch Bran, and you'll Here see Loch Bran as you go from Kesh Carrigan, where I come from, to Carrigan Shannon. Loch Bran is on your left hand side. Beautiful place. Okay. What's our key there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sit you down, lie a 
comrade sent you down far wide. While I spend my last hours on Aaron's green eye, come fill up your glasses and we'll drink hand to hand. For tomorrow I'll be leaving the shores of La Grande. There's my father and mother, I can still. from viewers you can uh, click on the screen uh, to give us uh, send your messages to us I'd like to say hello to Joan and John Gallagher in Sitges near Barcelona in Spain and uh, we have one here from Dusseldorf would love to be in Ireland such a magical place it is a magical place uh, thank you Hans Hans from Dusseldorf okay and we have a great competition for you you can just take a look at the screens now if you come up We're offering you and a friend an opportunity of a lifetime to come here to the west of Ireland as our very special guests. Your prize includes one week's accommodation at the luxurious Leitrim Quay self-catering cottages situated in the beautiful village of Leitrim. These cottages are on their own private marina and you will have the use of your own cruiser for the week, ideal for fishing and exploring the many nearby waterways. We'll introduce you and your companion to the complete West of Ireland experience with an activity programme which will ensure you get to see and do as much as possible during your stay with us. You'll also have the opportunity to eat in one of Leitrim's finest restaurants and join a traditional Irish music session. Your prize includes flights from any of 25 different overseas markets with access to Ireland West Airport Knock and car hire is included for the duration of your stay. Simply click on the competition link on this page to enter. Winners will be announced later on in this webcast here on IrelandWestTrad.com. Fabulous competition and all you have to do to enter is click on the screen. And now we have a duet that is very special to this part of Ireland. Uh, on flute and fiddle we have Harry Bradley and James Carty. And what are you going to play for us, James? Uh, concert reel and music priest and
Bradley and James Carty. With the surname like Carty, is there a relationship there between all the parties? That's my young brother. <laughs> <laughs> we have that clarified. It's John Carty's brother James, uh, when the fiddle there. The yes, brother. indeed. <laughs> and I think more from the Carties later. It's a house steeped in music. Cathy, will we tell the people the fantastic things Leitrim and Roscommon have to offer? We will. They say Leitrim is a hidden gem, but I could never find it. That's why they call it the hidden That's gem. That's because nobody gives you your address because you might call. <laughs> well, uh, you've been spotted cruising in Carrigan Shannon, Eleanor. You can tell them all about the cruising. Yes, I love cruising. <laughs> and <laughs> Sidewalks? I went, no, cruising on a boat. I went cruising last year uh, to, I went from Carrick and Shannon to Tarman Barry, and I went down part of the Shannon as well. And you can uh, up the Shannon Aaron Link. I've been on the, the river quite a bit. I absolutely, it was a most fantastic day out. Did you ever try the fishing? Uh, I did actually. While you were cruising. I'm not, I'm not very good at fishing, <laughs> but I'm very good at cruising. And uh, yeah, we're about to see, I think, um, um, Lockheed Forest Park. This is the dungeon that the, the yes. servants used to have to run up so they wouldn't be seen by. That's the... where you should be. And uh, Zippo Iron, <laughs> I saw you break that line there one day. Um, it can't take the weight. I the, did. Uh, I had uh, I had an awful fall off the zip wire, but luckily enough, Kathy was just underneath at the time, so I bounced like it. I had a good lump. To and this fall bridge off. here, you came a cropper off that too, broke it. <laughs> there was major repairs that had to be done since that. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> You'll Nobody believes us, you know. They don't believe that we've done all these things. But there's the proof. I've look. grown out of your neck there. Look. You well, you're some neck. <laughs> <laughs> and all I can say is you're a pain in the neck. <laughs> so there's just some of the things we can talk about. Now, we're going to have a tune. Maggie. Maggie is going... Oh, actually, now, Maggie was going to sing for us. I was. She was. And what happened? Tonsillitis, sorry. Oh, tonsillitis. And it, that's really sad because I know Maggie's a fantastic singer. So you're going to play a tune. What are you going to play? Uh, we are. We're going to play um, the Barn Dances, the Whirling Robin, and then we're going to play uh, Skemet Seneca Square. Great. So. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. 
great music from the Carties. I told you there was more to come, and uh, Maggie, that was fantastic. Uh, John, what were the, the last tunes? Uh, the last set uh, there, we started off with a, a, a band dance called um, The Warbling Robin, wasn't it? And the last tune is an old timey tune from uh, uh, Ry Kuda, was the man we learned that from. Uh, he plays mm, all over the world, better. of course. But, um, but there'd be all sorts of music in around here, not just traditional, you know, mm -hmm. so we like some of the old timey stuff too. And Ryan Cooter was a great man for the old Shannon knows, apparently. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Leitrim and Roscommon, but Leitrim in particular, can boast man is the old relic. Isn't that right, Eleanor? Do you want to, will well, we I know there are a lot of about them. <laughs> there are a lot of old relics, and you won't believe this, Cathy, but there are some relics that are even older than I am myself. Loch Rin Castle, Costello Chapel, Strokestone Park House, which is very close to where I'm from, which boasts the Famine Museum now. There's the Elfin Will Mill, 18th century, and that's on my to-do list because I haven't seen that one, believe it or not. But we have Manor Hamilton Castle, which I have seen. It's a beautiful old ruin. Uh, Parks Castle, again, I've seen that one, it's fantastic, that's and uh, you should talk more and see these places. Connellis House, another oh. one from my to-do list. Absolutely. And King House in Boyle in, in Roscommon. We have uh, many a megalithic site as well, that's Tullahan Cross, beautiful old cross on the hill. St George's Heritage Centre, we have Roscommon Castle right there, and last but by no means least, Roscommon and Boyle Abbey. Boyle Abbey right there, who's recently been renovated. So just to remind everybody, they can visit www.visitroscommon.ie for information on Roscommon and... Or for Leitrim, you go www.leitrimtourism.ie. Now, very close to where we are here is an ancient site of Rack Crohan, where the High Kings of Ireland are reputedly buried. And uh, connections um, with that also have been made with Queen Maeve. Uh, some say she's buried in Rakrahan, others say she's buried at the top of Nachnaray. Mm -hmm. But with Queen Maeve in mind, we're going to have a poem now from the wonderful Anne Joyce. You're going to read us a poem all about Queen Maeve. Thank you, Cathy. Queen Maeve had her heart set on taking possession of the brown bull of Cooley to equal the white-horned one that ran with her husband's herd at Crohan, or Rathcrohan, as it's now known in County Roscommon. So she set off for Ulster, and after much fighting and many, many deaths, the bull was captured. This evening, we have the meeting of the two bulls. <laughs> Bulls meet in a field in Connacht, a white-horned one and a brown, with fiery flanks, with the rush of a bear, beloved of cows, idols of the oxen herd. Sods fly along the pawed earth, their eyes are balls of fire, their horns locked, hard shell against hard shell. Then a horn catches in the side, the hide torn, flesh scattered to trees, so it hangs there, dead meat on a thorn spit. Who will bear witness? Stay awake, stay watching. Follow the fight as day follows them, field to field, their eyes dripping madness, entering night as they entered the myth, shape changing as before, from swine herds to birds to underwater creatures, to maggots in the field the great cow ate, and birthed two bulls, Fenbiana and the Don Kulna. Is this what is required of them now, their shredded flesh thrown to the wind, blood streaming round daisies and dandelions? The two of them, circling the whole of the country in that one black night, until their hearts crushed. Yeah. 
I don't know, you have a few messages. Uh, few or have messages. I a few messages? You have a few messages. Greetings from Chicago, uh, from Rosemary Burns. And whoever wrote this should need to go back to school and <laughs> use their space and tap copy. That's why um, I gave them to you, Cathy. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't read them either. I was trying to read them. Greetings from Australia, from Niall Byrne. Hello, Niall Byrne, how's it going down under? Uh, really lovely uh, friend to us, Sabrina. Sabrina, Denmark. Denmark one of my favourite places, Denmark. And greetings from Germany, that's Stefani. And from Charlestown, oh. Prince Edward Ireland. Oh, uh, from, is that Holly Graham? Holly Graham. Hello, Holly. How's it going? And to everyone else watching, keep sending the messages. You'll see a link uh, on your screen. Just send us a message, say hello, and tell us where you are. We'd love to hear from you. Now, what's next? Um, oh, yes. I just wanted to tell you, once again, we're in Easter Snow, in Dickie Burns Pub in Easter Snow, a beautiful place name. And every... Every townland in Ireland has a beautiful place name and uh, lots of historical um, attachment. Where do you come from, Eleanor? I come from a beautiful place called Kesh Carrigan, which means the bridge on the rock. The bridge on the bog, come on, that's no. what it means. Well, a Kesh was a bridge that they used to put in a bog long time uh, ago. Yes. We were very proud of our bogs. We were, <laughs> just well, you might be. And as what's well. your townland? Uh, Scramog, um, which means the soft ground. Yes. My mother oh. has my favourite townland name ever because my mother came from a place called Lissamadon, which actually means uh, the Fort of the Fools. Yes, so and we're on April Fools Day. What yeah, and I, day? I was thinking of calling my next album Lissamadon. Would you like to guest on a cafe? <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd be all right by yourself. There's enough of you. <laughs> OK, well, we're going to hear uh, a song from somebody now, uh, Sir McDermott, from a townland with a gorgeous name called Kule. Kule? Maliradi. Bally, bally. Doesn't say that here. No, that's the name of the song, Colina Trine. Colina Trine is the townland. Yes. Yes. And what is, is, is there a meaning to Colina Trine? I haven't researched it. Yeah, that's your homework. <laughs> 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 you have to go home now and research Colina Trine. It's a beautiful <laughs> name. Are you going to do a song for us? Yeah, the name of the song is Colina Trine. Yeah. Great. Wow. Dear Col dear Colina Treen, dear Colina Treen, where I found peace and quiet and smoke my dugeen, when the hay is all saved and the meadows rake clean, sure the sun it shines down on you, Colina Treen. Near the old town of Carrick, where the Shannon flows by, there's a little town land that would brighten your eye. With its little thatched homes and its meadows so green, there's a bit of Roscommon called Colina Treen. Dear Colina Treen, dear Colina Treen, where I found peace and quiet and smoke my dugeen. When the hay is all saved and the meadows ray clean, should the sun it shines down on you, Colina Treen. In the evening we go round the road to the tavern And we'd meet Miss Gilday and her friend Frank McGovern And we'd wind them and dine them with jokes in between And we'd send them home singing through Colleen a dream. We had duck eggs for breakfast and hen eggs galore Next summer, please God, we'll be coaxed to eat more and the tea you could walk on with rich yellow cream Every night at the banquets in Colleen a Treen Farewell to old Carrick, to Boyle and Elfin. Next summer, please God, we'll be back here again. And we'll wind them and dine them with jokes in between. And we'll send them home singing through Colleen Treen. Dear Colleen Treen, dear Colleen Treen, where I found peace and quiet and smoked my dugeen. When the hay is all saved and the meadows rake clean, Sure the sun it shines down on you, Colleen a dream.
jigs where this is the Scotchman over the border and the Tempany bit. And these musicians here is Harry Bradley on um, uh, my far right, Francis Gaffney's beside him, I don't know if you can see him, with Patsy Handley, my brother James Carty, uh, his nephew James Carty, and this is Shane McGowan. So we're the core band for the evening. So, two jigs. <laughs> and this is how you enter. We're offering you and a friend an opportunity of a lifetime to come here to the west of Ireland as our very special guests. Your prize includes one week's accommodation at the luxurious Leitrim Quay self-catering cottages situated in the beautiful village of Leitrim. These cottages are on their own private marina and you will have the use of your own cruiser for the week ideal for fishing and exploring the many nearby waterways. We'll introduce you and your companion to the complete West of Ireland experience with an activity programme which will ensure you get to see and do as much as possible during your stay with us. You'll also have the opportunity to eat in one of Leitrim's finest restaurants and join a traditional Irish music session. Your prize includes flights from any of 25 different overseas markets with access to Ireland West Airport Knock and car hire is included for the duration of your stay. Simply click on the competition link on this page to enter. Winners will be announced later on in this webcast here on IrelandWestTrad.com. Great, and once again, all you have to do is click on the screen to enter. Well, let's see. Now, yes, a fellow Ross Scamadon, as he called himself <laughs> once, um, Patsy Handley over there is going to play a flute set with John by Harry Bradley and James Carty. Three flutes from here. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go there, lads. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, Patsy, can you tell me what they were called? Or have you any idea? Uh, off there was the sail, uh, a reel called the Sailor of the Rock. Now, um, that was the tune we played in between as well. And what was the name of your tune, Jim? It was one of the McDonald brothers from Ban the Fed. Right. I'm not sure of Cool McDonald's, is it? Yeah. yeah. Could be. And then we did the Sailor of the Rock again, and Harry played. John McKenna. What did John McKenna John, John, John McKenna's porkies, yeah. And just to, uh, on the subject of John McKenna, for those who don't know who John McKenna, the legend was John McKenna, can you just fill us in as to who he was and how, uh, how he added to the tradition and the legend? Right, he was from the townland of Tins. It's up near uh, the far side of Origna in County Leitrim, mm -hmm. just over the border. And um, he immigrated to America, where he was one of the leading musicians in America on any instrument, you know, he was he was a brilliant flute player. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he just carried on a tradition that was very strong in that area, mm. because um, to be, there'd be more fiddles than flutes down where I come from, you know. Sure. And uh, as, I, as I kept going north, and I kept <laughs> mm -hmm. gravitating northward in the county, into County Leitrim and Schlegel, I found that they had a very strong tradition there. Uh, my father and my uncle and my grandfather played with the uh, the Kilgaven Fife and Drum Band and they played fifes but they, they also played flutes before that mm -hmm. and um, you mentioned also Arigna there where John McKenna was from there's yeah. a, a mine there a coal mine that has closed down only recently and you can go visit That's right. yeah. have, have you been there yourself too? I haven't no you I haven't, haven't your place or mine <laughs> 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 did you not see the posters it's, no. a, it's actually a, yeah. a brilliant experience. Well worth a visit. Yes. It's well I, worth I a believe visit. it is a yeah. great experience already. Yeah, yeah. that was the, fantastic music, lads. Thanks yeah. so much. And it's, it's really a great good. place to visit in the wintertime because I believe that the temperature is mild underground. You know, you can yes. go there all year round. And you can light a fire. There's loads of coal. <laughs> 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 and the tour guides are, are actually the miners who worked in the mines, so That's they right. really know what they're talking yeah. about. Yeah. They give you really That's get the, the, the feeling of what went on there. Yeah. Yeah, I, one of the, my best friends around that country was a tour player called Packy Digna. Oh, yes. And he was a famous character. Yeah, fantastic. Player. Absolutely. We spent hours together. We weren't always playing in flutes. You know, I'll bet. Two or three points here and there. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. We have a few more uh, messages from around the world now. So, someone said the best uh, webcast yet. That must be... Um, oh, that's someone very honest. Yes. that's. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you from the heart of Texas. That's Elaine. How's Hello, it going, Elaine? Elaine. Uh, great to watch this event from Watford in the UK. That's oh. Greg O'Donoghue. Greg O'Donoghue. Uh, great show. Looking forward to hearing Eleanor singing. That must be your mother, is it? Mammy, <laughs> step away from the computer, okay? <laughs> Which, it's, from she knows how to use it. it's from Theresa in England. Thank you, You don't Teresa. even know how to use it. <laughs> so we're going to remind people once more um, that if you want to find the hidden gems of this area, Leitrim and Roscommon, the best way to do it is to fly to Ireland West Airport in Knock, and the, it flies to 25 destinations all over uh, Europe and the UK. So if you want to find more about that, you log on to their website, which is irelandwestairport.com. So you can find anything you need to know, and they fly twice a day to practically everywhere in Europe. So do check it out and see what that has to offer. Okay, Cathy, you're talking an awful lot. Would you like to sing a song? I'm surprised you asked me. I couldn't, I couldn't wait for you to ask I've been me. sitting the whole evening waiting for just for you to sing. <laughs> well, you did a uh, Leitrim song, so we'll have to counteract it with a Roscommon song. Isn't that right, Patsy? I do. Yeah, I <laughs> so it's called Owl Ballymo and not Ballymoat. Um, <laughs> In the county Roscommon, in headstones and red, I was crossing the field and me were to the trail. I met a Caroline and so she do you know, was the shard to shard cut into old Ballymore. Says I can he know what led you astray. Says I, I'll go with you and show you the way. So she, I am not willing for you, I don't know. You could kiss me between here and nobody more. Says I, Connie, no, I've seldom been kissed. Says she, a poor rejected rat you have missed. Says I, I'd be willing to learn, you know. We could practice between here and nobody more. Get out of me way, you mourn, get rogue. I don't like your looks or the sound of your rogue. You're young.
young and good looking The God knows you're slow And we don't like old dead ones in old Ballymore Says I, I've been noted for strength and good looks And me brains and so bad when I look at the books And if you come with me So we'll have to read them out. Uh, uh, Dickie and Una, oh, would love to thank all the wonderful musicians, singers, dancers, and listeners who have graced our, our premises since we've opened. That's from the hostesses. So thanks to everybody who's ever been kind here. Uh, and oh, Beatrix and Ruth, who are holidaying in Paris, and this comes from Dickie and Una as well. Um, Hello to the Egans in Kent and Leeds in the UK. Excellent. Um, now we have a set of finalists from our photo competition and uh, we ask people to send in their photographs for the competition and to, uh, to vote for them as well. Carty clan and they're here beside me so uh, John introduce your son James if you haven't yep. already done this it. Young James Carty. You said he was your brother but he's <laughs> not. <laughs> but he used to be, he used to be, he little, used to be your brother. He used to be is little he's... James and that used to be big James. Oh, now so now big James is little James and little James is big James <laughs> and I get confused you myself. Be all confused, yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to play first? Uh, we're going to play uh, jigs into reels Great. and uh, we're hoping to have some dance as well. Cool. Excellent. Fire ahead. <laughs>
Edwina Gokin. Beautiful tunes, lads. And Edwina is has to be the hardest working dancer in Ireland sure. because every festival I go to, everywhere I go, there's Edwina dancing. And uh, I was Googling Edwina and I see her grandfather, Bernie Lee, is from this very parish of Easter ah. Snow and was himself a Shannos dancer. So it's in the blood. Definitely. Uh, if you did that, Cathy, you'd take lumps out of the floor. Oh. Listen, <laughs> I'd be better at it than you and them shoes. <laughs> We're going to have our next piece of music now, and uh, it's a family. Well, we're at, before we have oh, any music, okay. we're going to uh, tell more people what's the, what there's to do in this area. Now, I am totally biased about Leitrim and Roscommon, and there's so much to see and do, particularly for families in this area of North Connaught. Nothing beats wandering into another world off the beaten track, and the important thing is it costs nothing. Um, it's all here, unspoilt landscape, much loved of hill walkers, with loads of marked ways for the easy stroller to the serious outdoors type, that'll be you Cathy, <laughs> and cycle trays for those that prefer the bicycle. You have hiking, biking, playgrounds, hills, lakes, forest trails, and indeed even Shannos dancing for those who, who feel inclined. And it's all for free, there really is something for everyone. Um, I can't say enough about the place. Uh, do you want to say, add something to that, Cathy? Well, it's just I agree with everything they said. I mean, up around where I come from, this Sleep Bawn, beautiful walks up on the top of Sleep Bawn, into Strokestown, around Strokestown House, Elfin. It's just so much to see and do. And, and as you see, there's our uh, the farmers market in Carrick and Shannon. Yeah, it's great to see all those farmers markets back and They're up and fantastic. Again. Get the freshest of food, the freshest of fish available. Do you garden yourself? Uh, do I garden? No, I go to places like that. Though, there yeah. I am, yes. I'd be more inclined to do that sort of thing than, than actually gardening. You're more of a wallflower than a... <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly. <laughs> and again, we will stress, for information, visit roscommon.ie or leitrimtourism.ie. Excellent. Well, I nearly jumped the gun there with um, a family um, piece of music, but we have it ready for you now. This is the Gaffney family, uh, local. And uh, we have uh, Vera, hello Vera, we have Brendan, and we have Francis. How are you doing? And uh, they're going to sing a song that I asked the question that we all would like to know the answer to. That's, what will we do when we have no money? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see if there's an answer in here somewhere. <laughs> What will we do when we have no money? Oh, oh true lovers, what will we do then? Only hop through the town for a hungry crown. And we'll yodel it over again. Oh, what will we do if we marry? Oh, 
in our photograph competition. So we're going to see them come up on screen right now. And beautiful photographs, I'm sure everyone will agree. So the first one up here, Drum Shambo on the Sligo Road with Swan by Betta Kogotsky. Beautiful. Uh, lovely, lovely Loch Erigel by Margaret Flynn. Absolutely beautiful photographs. Then we have Pure Life, Pure Irish Loch Gill from Hare County Leitrim by JJ O'Hara. Absolutely gorgeous sunset there. Then we have Roscommon Castle Glowing in the Evening Sun by Anne Costello. And finally, we have Sunset in Drumshambo County Leitrim again by Betta Kogotsky. So beautiful, I'm sure you will agree. So, what have we next for them, Eleanor? We have uh, the prizes, the flowers of Knock Row. Um, is that your painting, Vera? Yeah? It is indeed. Because Vera is a fantastic painter. I've been, again, looking up your work. It's amazing. I absolutely oh, love, so love, <laughs> love. I have one hanging painting. in my house. It's oh, fantastic. Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's just beautiful. Where do you get the names for your paintings? How do They're you? from the townlands. Like, the Flowers of Knock Row is where John's people are from. And it really relates to a tune. A lot of the work is related to traditional music, and it relates to a tune that John and James and his father, John P. And I think even James Pins, I'm not quite sure. All the Jameses are getting mixed up. It's called The Ladies of Palestine, <laughs> or The Flowers of Red Hill. Okay. But I called it the Flowers of Knock Row because that's where they're from. And the tune, it's a really, it's a chant from the past. Um, they have lived on the same townland, the people, it's the same fields, the same stories. It hasn't changed with the Celtic title. And that's when you true. hear it, you actually can hear the passage of time. So that's why I called it the Flowers and when of you're, Knock Row. When you're painting, have you the tunes playing away in the background? Really? And yeah. sometimes John would give me tunes when he was getting ready an album or something. He'd give me, years ago, more so, that he'd give me the uncut pieces. He's gone very mean. He doesn't give away free no. albums. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're and painting. It's cool yeah. you get that, and then you can really get into the soul of it. And yeah. That's how it came. You certainly really. can see the soul in your paintings. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Really and nice. then the flute players of Roscommon is about our famous Patsy Handy. And none better, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> as, as Cathy says, some flower he is. Yeah. <laughs> it's the strength. Yeah, James, yeah. Is, uh, James is on this. James is on that I've got the actual side. painting on yeah. my wall yeah. in London. Yeah. Yeah. Well, marvellous. More music, lads, that's what I say. Okay. So what are you going to play for us now? I'm going to play good old North Connacht Polkas. Excellent. Yeah. Fire ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, just to mention our competition once again, there's some great prizes. Um, the first prize is two flights uh, from Ireland West Airport, Knock, and the second lucky winner, as Eleanor says, gets a beautiful print, The Flowers of Knock Row, from Vera Gaffney. So don't forget to enter, there's still a chance. You can do it online, click the screen, we told you already. Now we're going to have a beautiful set of tunes from this man here we'll see, we'll on see. the pipes. <laughs> Away you go. the name of those tunes? Um, the first one's a tune called Ambukaline Bui. Um, the second one is uh, a thing called, I suppose appropriate, is uh, The Mug of Brown Ale. Oh, and, lovely. Uh, the last one is a tune called um, The Butcher's March. Now, those, oh, that instrument is one of the most difficult in the Irish tradition. Uh, can you tell us how long you were playing and uh, who you learned from? 15 years. 14, oh. 15 years. So there's a man called Tommy Carney, who was a Watford, Watford piper. Right. So I learned from him. But, uh, well, you sound fantastic. That was absolutely beautiful. Much, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Well done. Well. John Towie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're going to have a set of tunes from more characters. We have brothers John and James, and James, I know, unlike your brother John, who's a famous or maybe infamous farmer in these parts, John, I got, the last time I talked to you, you had four cows, and then it went down to three. How many cows? Recession. Well, only two. <laughs> <laughs> only two cows.
cows. What do we do when we have no cows? Keep sending, <laughs> <laughs> Keep sending the money. <laughs> but James, you're not from these parts at all. Where, where are you? I live, in, I live in London all the time, over in England. Um, back where we all were. I never, I never bothered coming back here. And like, you've, you're flying in here. Did you, did you come in through... through uh, I fly into okay. Ireland West Knock. Probably four or yeah. five times a year. Fantastic. To see the family. My dad's up the road, so I come back to see him. Francis and John, Maureen, and uh, Matty so and James. So Ireland West Airport, knock is a godsend for you. Then, oh, it's so, so handy. Because yeah. years ago, we used to have to... We had terrible trouble getting into this area, like, yeah. you know? So you'd have to come over to Dublin and then try and get up. But yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. be home now in about 35 minutes. Get on the lake yeah. fishing. Oh, it's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and France do you go out? Do, oh, you take you take about fishing Sometimes, and all that. Yes. Yeah. Cruising. Cruising. Yeah. No, no. We never catch anything, <laughs> but we uh, we try. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next time you're over and you're doing a bit of fishing, give us a shout. Cause I like fish, There's a know? lake just across from here, from Dickie. She's too mean to buy it. First trout. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kathy's a great cook. Yeah, she yeah. cook it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. A few, a few more messages for you all. Um, we finally uh, give in to um, the iPad because we couldn't read anyone's writing. Um, that's the, the age we live in. No one can write anymore or spell. So for those watching from Philly, more flutes, they say. More flutes. Well, we're going um, to have some tunes from the boys now. So you, that, that, that'll be... We'll, there's no flute there, no. No flutes no. there. Loving it. Best trad session ever. So fire ahead and play. Make a family album, lads. Definitely. We can't agree. Huh? We can't agree. No, we're going to show you some. This is uh, Ireland West Airport at Knock. And uh, it's, as James was saying, it's such a, a godsend to the, the west of Ireland because it opens up doorways for all of us. Uh, we, can, we can visit particularly Leitrim and Roscommon. We'd like to see people flying in to visit Leitrim and Roscommon. You can go to Gaul, you can go to Sligo, you can go to Donegal or anywhere else, but come to Leitrim and Roscommon first. Um, you can see footage on, this, on the screen there, Cathy. I think that's an airplane. Oh, we can go to Dusseldorf. I've been, have you? We'll go over and visit Hans in Dusseldorf. He's the one who sent <laughs> one of the first messages. So Hans, uh, uh, we look forward to seeing you. Because now, in fact, all those people in Europe should be very worried because uh, we have cheap flights going now to all over Europe. And we'll arrive on the doorsteps. 25 destinations. Now, all my cards fell on the ground, but we'll make up for it by reading some messages. So, from Germany, 
which you just mentioned. Thanks for sharing. Loving it, the best session yet, they say. Dickies in Easter Snow, a national treasure. Hello to Niall and Paula in Melbourne. Um, so I like that Hazel Watson. Love, 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 love the, the dancing. dancing. Hi yeah, from the that. World Chess Championships in London. Who can play chess and watch Easter Snow at the same time? I don't know. Very talented person. Fantastic to see the Carty clan and all the rest. Listen, enough messages. Will you sing for us, Eleanor? I will. For God's sake. I'm going to sing a song about that fabulous place I've mentioned many times. There's going to be loads of people coming from Europe now to, to Kesh Carrigan. A song written by a friend of mine called John Ryan about the, the place I live in, in Kesh, Kesh Carrigan. It's the bog. Away, witchy. Oh, you have to play the bar run on this one. You can oh, put yes. the cards down there now, Cathy. I'll tell you what you have to say. Good. <laughs> She'd never listen to me, though. That's the problem. I try. God knows I try. <laughs> Wait till I tune her up now, she's gone slack on me, like, like Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't know you had to tune a bow run.
I've dropped all my cards, so you're going to have to tell me. You told me and tell me what Well, you're going to read, read out the winners of uh, that uh -huh. photo competition. Fantastic. Well, I can do that. Don't drop that now. I'll yeah. try not. <laughs> the first prize is two flights um, to and from Ireland West Airport Knock. But we're going to read them in reverse order from fifth prize back. So, the fifth prize um, is Aidan O'Donnell. Congratulations, Aidan. Uh, fresh rain on Loch Key Woods. Fantastic. Brilliant. The fourth prize goes to Betta Kagatska, Sunset in Drumshambo, County Leitrim. And it's two tickets to the special Tommy Fleming concert in Loch Key Forest Park. The third prize is a round of golf and it's to Anne Costello, Roscommon Castle glowing in the evening sun as Anne Costello. Congratulations for that beautiful photograph, third prize. <laughs> Second prize, uh, Drum Shambo on the Sligo Road. Again, Betta Kogotska. Uh, uh, the second prize, frame print of the flowers of Loch, uh, Knock Row by Vera Gaffney, which we talked about earlier. And the first prize winner is the Gaelic Chieftain winner, Val Robus. And that's two flights to and from Ireland West Airport, Knock. <laughs> and congrat congratulations to all our winners. And that Tommy Fleming uh, concert we mentioned as part of the gathering return of the Rossies Bowl in May. So if right. you're around for that. There are lots of events happening all over Leitrim and Roscommon. And I just mentioned some of the Leitrim ones. You have uh, Carrick 400, Carrick and Channel 400 celebrating that. We have Leitrim Roots. We have the Balnamore Writers uh, Festival. Festival Week, in fact, Carrick Water Music Festival, and you'll find out loads about those on www.leitrimtourism.ie and www.visitroscommon.ie. Uh, Very good. Wasn't it great? <laughs> You're a genius. So, now. are we going to hear some... Um, uh, do you want to read some more messages? John and Paddy. Yeah, well, I'd like to introduce... This is Paddy Melia. He's been keeping the music on here in Dickie Barnes for donkey's ears at this stage. He's one of our great characters, and uh, I think it's very special that um, he's going to play a few tunes with us okay. tonight. And what tunes have we lined up, Paddy? What will we play? We play the Squire Lock and Rotten Mary. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spare it now. Don't spare it. <laughs>
can see why you keep it alive. <laughs> and that's, see, that's, that's what the Real Irish Session is about, and that's, that's the way it should be. Loads of messages coming in. Um, hello to all in Dickies tonight, loving the music. Wish you, we could be there. Well, you can be now, it's not that far away. Love from Kent, Mary and Brian, they used to live next door. Lovely music, keep her lit. All the best from Jimbe, John Kenny, from Athalan, round the corner. Well, come around. What are you doing around the corner? <laughs> uh, greetings from Burgos in Spain. Really enjoying our time. Sandra Escandalo. My Spanish is very good. Bellissimo. <laughs> uh, from Sean O'Dowd in Boyle. Hello, Sean. Well Hello, done. Sean. Great show. Uh, uh, loving this from tiny Rutland County, UK. Hazel Watson. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday, Cathy. Enjoying this uh -huh. webcast. Uh -huh. That's from Florence. Um, so a few people I'd like to say hel uh, hello to Yap in Denmark, who's watch or in Holland, who's watching out there, Yap Yap Musen. And, and Yap, watching you, Yap. Yap is watching me, Yap. And, yeah. and Marcus Dime in Germany. They're friends of mine who are definitely watching. You better be watching. Uh, I have a couple of friends. Yeah, I have. Funnily enough. Yeah. Have you? What uh, with the halitosis yeah. and everything? <laughs> Will we, will we introduce Charlie? He's waiting to look at him there. Oh, um, we're going to have some Lilton, which is a very special mouth music from, from Ireland. And who better to, to, uh, to be here as an exponent of that tradition? Only Charlie Cox. Away you go there, Charlie. Stand up there. All right. Something, another, it's all very special, but another very special thing coming up, Kathy. Well, this man that I'm about to introduce, uh, he couldn't be a fresher winner of a prize. W last night he was down, was it Limerick, Donald? Yes, yeah. Limerick at the Tichi Kahar Awards, a young musician of the year um, uh, he picked up, and he's going to play for us now, Donald McKay on the fiddle. Thank you. 
the winner of the Gratham Kewell TG Car Special Awards that took place last night in Limerick that was Donald McCaig on the fiddle and of course Shane McGowan on the guitar. Now I want to get through a couple of more messages before we reach the end. Um, Sabrina, she doesn't say where she's from but uh, she can't wait to come back to us in October. Such a wonderful country. Jap, um, he's listening from Holland or watching in That's from yeah, Holland. That's mentioned earlier, yes. Oh, yes, I'm, oh sorry, um, we're repeating ourselves. No, we're not. Are we repeating ourselves? No, no, you are, you are. One pint of Guinness, please, uh, from someone who's listening. Francois, listening in France. Uh, hello from Cambridge in the UK. Uh, also, I saw a message there passing from Prince Edward, Ireland. Charlottetown, Prince Edward oh. Ireland, and also from Poland, from Finland, you're watching from all over, and we'd like to thank you so much. We can't get through absolutely everybody, but to everybody out there, uh, thanks for, thanks for, for watching. watching in. So what have we now? And it's time to announce the very lucky winner of the amazing holiday for two in lovely Drum Leitrim. Drum roll. Heard me You have a week in Leitrim Key self-catering cottages with use of your own cruiser. I hope I win this one. I've actually entered it myself. Yeah, you're the best cruiser I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lovely, Cathy. She's charming. Carry right? on, carry on, carry on. And uh, you have a fun packed activity package in Roscommon. And uh, we're going to Even read better than out later. the winner now. And the winner is Francesco Sucamusto from Siena in Italy. Unfortunately, we're coming to the end of our broadcast, but keep up to date with the live streams here at www.irelandwesttrad.com. I think the two of us are going to sing once more, are we, we not? Are. We're going to and um, this has Roscommon connections as well, because um, you may have heard out there of a man by the name of Percy French, a great poet and so songwriter who came from uh, Clooney Quinn Elfin in County Roscommon, and this is one of his best known and loved songs called. Eileen Oak, and if you know the chorus, you know what to do. Yes. Stay out of harm's way. <laughs> yeah. Du -du -du -du. Eileen Oak, and that the darling's name is true. The barony, her features, they were famous. If we loved her, who was that to blame us? But wasn't she the pride of Petrogor? But her beauty made us also shine Not a man among us could look her in the eye Boys, oh boys, should that's the reason why We were mourning for the pride of Petrovore I lead on, we had to go and gray Ever since the day you wander far away I lead on, there's good fish in the sea But there's none of them like the pride of Petrovore Pride we had, the fair and bold and tumber I met Maratha Captain Jower I'd like to Do your court and make a no display. If you want them to run after you, then look the other way, cause they're more.
But um, it's it's a very it's very special even very special for us to be here. But there's another very special reason for some of us to be here, because it's somebody's birthday, and we'd like to sing a very happy birthday to Kathy. Because it's happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for embarrassing me. <laughs> it's a pity they didn't put your face on. And to everybody watching, Kathy will be sending a little slice of the cake out to everybody who sent in a request this evening. You know, I she's, we she's good like that, really, you know. <laughs> Thanks a million. This is fantastic. And there's a piece for everyone in the audience. Hey! <laughs> So we'd like to thank everybody sincerely for, for coming here tonight. We'd like to thank all our wonderful musicians. Uh, we've mentioned them all before, we won't mention them all again. Harry Bradley, Patsy oh. Hanley, I wrote them out because oh, you, you get confused. Paddy Toohey, John and James Carthy, Edwina Lucas for in. dancing, and, and Joyce, Shane McGowan, Donald McHaig, Malloy's for the cake, <laughs> and Gaffney's and Vera for your beautiful art. Um, all our sponsors, of course, they come up on the screen as well. And uh, if you want to know more, you go to our, uh, visit Roscommon, visit Roscommon.ie and, and www.leitrimtourism.ie and the uh, website for Irish we our Irish West, West Airport.com. So you have it all there. See, I'm very old and I forget these things. Yes, I Kathy. concur. Because <laughs> Kathy, Kathy is just uh, celebrating her... I think it's his 65th birthday today, yes? Yeah, yes, it's time for me to retire out of here now. So we're going to retire. Thank you so much. Thanks to Ireland West Airport. Thanks to all our musicians. Thanks to everyone watching in at home. To Thanks County to our Council. hosts here, our and, wonderful yeah. Una and Dickie, for Spring looking after us. And I'm sure he'll keep dance. going. It might keep going. Oh, yes. I think Till at so. least half eleven, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks a million. God bless. Take care. Woohoo! <laughs>